Book 22. Bloodshed. Odysseus ripped off his rags. Now naked, he leapt upon the threshold with his bow and quiver full of arrows, which he tipped out in a rush before his feet and spoke. Playtime is over. I will shoot again towards another mark no man has hit. Apollo, may I manage it? He aimed his deadly arrow at Antinous. The young man sat there, just about to drink his golden goblet, swirling wine inside, ready to drink. He had no thought of death. How could he? Who would think a single man among so many banqueters would dare to risk dark death, however strong he was? Odysseus aimed at his throat, then shot. The point pierced all the way through his soft neck. He flopped down to the side and his cup slipped from his hand. A double pipe of blood gushed from his nostrils. His foot twitched and knocked the table down. Food scattered on the ground. The bread and roasted meat were soiled with blood. Seeing him fall, the suitors, in an uproar, with, with shouts that filled the hall, jumped up and rushed to search around by all the thick stone walls for shields or spears to grab. But there were none. They angrily rebuked Odysseus. Stranger, you shall a man, and you will pay. You will join no more games. You have to die. For certain, you have killed the best young man in all of Ithaca. Right here, the vultures will eat your corpse. Those poor fools did not know that he had killed Antinous on purpose, nor that the snares of death were round them all. Clever Odysseus scowled back and sneered. Dogs! So you thought I would not come back home from Troy. And so you fleeced my house and raped my slave girls. And you flirted with my wife while I am still alive. You did not fear the gods who live in heaven. And you thought no man would ever come and take revenge. Now you are trapped inside the snares of death. At that, pale fear seized all of them. They groped to find a way to save their lives somehow. Only Eurymachus found words to answer. If it is you, Odysseus, Come back. Then we agree. Quite right. The Greeks have done outrageous things to your estate and home. But now, the one responsible is dead. Antinous, it was all his idea. He didn't even really want your wife. He had another plan, which Zeus has foiled. To lie in ambush for your son and kill him. Then seize the throne and rule in Ithaca. Now he is slain, quite rightly. Please, my lord, have mercy on your people. We will pay it back in public. Yes, for all the food and drink, we each will bring the price of 20 oxen and pay you all the gold and bronze you want. Your anger is quite understandable. Odysseus saw through him. With a glare, he told him, Even if you give me all your whole inheritance 
and even more, I will not keep my hands away from slaughter until I pay you suitors back for all your wickedness. You have two choices, fight or run away. Just try to save your lives. Not one of you will get away from death.